So we're gonna get some coffee Sunday morning vibes, you know? But I wanted to upload this video because I just did a private one-on-one -on -one session with one of my students, Vander, uh, yesterday, and it was an amazing conversation. And I really wanna give you guys an insight as to what it's like to work with me one-on-one -on -one privately uh, through my mentorship program. So you're gonna see clips of us basically breaking down charts and really showing you how much progress he's made in less than a year of trading, working hands-on with me. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like I told you at the beginning, I'm really impressed because, I mean, you've been working with me on and off a little bit, obviously, but for the most part, I mean, it's been, um, man, what, like, has it been like six months, something like that, at least, something? Yeah. But less than a year, yeah. you know? And I remember when we first started, like, you, your chart work was not like that. You know, you did have a little bit of experience coming in, but right now, I mean, there's literally no difference from what I do as far as like looking at a higher time frame zone and then scaling down to see smaller shifts of structure to get in. I mean, you have a really good understanding of it, bro. And honestly, narrowing yourself down to one pair is not something that everybody has to do, but it, it's something that I've personally done, like sp sticking mostly to NAS. And if you find something that makes sense to you with GU, that's all you yeah. need. Because I mean, think about it, bro. That one trade right there is a six to one. What more do we need, you know? So for the only thing I would say is like sometimes if you feel like you are waiting for the higher time frame zones to to start tapping in and then they're not coming because price takes a while to do four hour zones, um, and then you're starting to rush trades, then that's where you could add a second or third pair that you've back tested or you feel a little bit more comfortable with, just like GU, that creates more opportunities more frequently so that you're not taking bad trades. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's, that's the only thing I would say to that, you know, like, again, that's why I trade sometimes gold and then sometimes I'll trade like a AU or something. If there's really nothing going on with NAS right now, I have that system where it basically gives me a daily trade for NASDAQ. But before that, I mean, just trading this right here, supply and demand, smart money concepts. I had a wider um, watch list for that because those four hour zones sometimes didn't come often and then. I was kind of like, okay, what am I going to do here? You know, but um, it really, that's, that's the only thing I would say for you. Um, and then we talked about risk management, obviously just risking a little bit less when you're in drawdown. So I know obviously right now, like you're getting it back to break even, but um, so your next trade you're planning to do is the sell, right? That sell on GU. Yeah. The sell, that's the, where was it? this one right here? Mm -hmm. This is what I'm looking to. That order I have, I'm looking to get in for this coming week. Right now, market is closed. So let's see what happens once mm -hmm. price get into that zone. What reaction I got? Yeah, and I will keep going from there. So. Yep. So you're on FTMO funded or? I'm doing the TradeX uh, Maxery mm -hmm. challenge right now, which awesome. is really good I um, for me because um, I'm learning something new with this TradeX because right now they don't have the uh, meta trader I used to trade on, but I found mm -hmm. TradeLocker very user-friendly. Mm -hmm. Very easy to take trades on, and mm -hmm. so it's 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 been working very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to on. pivot too when I first started because I never used Trade Logger or anything before. But you get used to it like anything else, and I like that. Uh, you can like drag the stop loss and the take profit like on the actual trading view chart. You know, because that yeah. saves you time too. You don't have to go back to one app and go to the other one. You can just do it all in one, really. Um, so that's cool. Uh, obviously like news is the only thing that you have to be aware of. And then the weekends, like I've had accounts where I could hold over the weekend or I could hold during news, obviously with TradeX, you know, you have to, yeah, that's for sure. I have, I have an account like this. So I think I, I purchased the, um, um, extra cause you can, um, pay a little bit extra and you can get to trade on the, trade news or on the weekend so yeah it's worth it <laughs> so it's, it's very worth it because sometimes you never know 
it can be in a good setup and because of news we have to you yep. have to close the um close the trade mm -hmm. so you don't you don't um you don't violate the rules of the account so yeah having you, that peace um... of mind is very good for me yeah no no 100 percent. did you uh when you got the account was it still during the 50 percent off yes i nice. use my um march madness madness yeah march madness yeah. yeah that mm -hmm. was awesome man that 50 percent yeah, was man. really good 100 <laughs> percent. yeah man yeah all right cool so um I think you really got a good game plan, man. I think this is the good. I think the biggest thing with just being a part of a, a, you know, a group or like having a mentor is just you kind of know what to do like most of the time. But when you don't have anybody to have a conversation with because your family or your friends or whatever, they're not trading like that. It could get a little lonely or like you can kind of get in your own head sometimes. Um, And to be able to just talk through it, like really this whole session, you've really just been talking through what you yeah. know you got to do and what you know you you already can do and um you just need that sometimes that assurance that like you're on the right path and everything so you know when i tell you like hey bro i'm proud of you and all that stuff like i i never say stuff just to say it only if it's true you know and you're really at that point where like you have it it's just literally the the small little tweaks the small little yeah. tweaks in your discipline in your trade selection and then obviously figuring out your your personal life, like whether it's work or whatever that you have to balance trading with, you know, so it might be pending orders. It might be just uh, setting alerts on trading view and stepping away from work for a second to execute the trade. Like everybody kind of figures out their little system when it comes to being available and they need to be to take the trade. But um, I would say like, man, you're like 80 to 90% there, you know, and yeah. most people, they don't even get to 30% there. And then they stop. So honestly, yeah, like your your perseverance with the skill set and everything is is amazing. And um, I already know by the end of the year, man. Oh my god. Big yeah, man. I have, I have been following you, and you you is one of my motivation too. Because when I when I got started, um, I I didn't know nothing about reading you basically i follow it your your way of reading the charts try to follow um all your trainings and the most important thing when when you try to learn something is you got to do um some extra on yourself too like it's not just um okay you show me couple stuff and then after it, it's gonna happen so mm -hmm. like i told you every day i i, I keep trying back testing use my um replay tool you know go on your um session or, or, or on the replay see what you did see what your mentality was try to kind of um mimic all the good all the yeah. good stuff which um is what was able for to make me reach at this stage where i mm -hmm. where where i am with trading and i hope i really can can get funded mm -hmm. but at least by if, I, if even if i don't um achieve this in a short term i'm for sure think i'm going to i'm going to be able to um succeed at the long term cause mm -hmm. it's it's um it's keep working keep yep. keep pushing is what's gonna make you get there so yeah that's the thing nobody, man. nobody the can mind, do it for you a hundred percent yeah you see and that's the mindset thing is something I never take credit for with any student like the mindset is really on the person like you said it's up to you you know all i do is really just pass down information strategies what i've learned just so that you don't have to go and digging and finding it somewhere and busting your head with that part but yeah. the 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 belief that you have that it's going to happen no matter what like that's the spiritual side of success that 
you know, people either have it or they don't. And if they don't, they got to have those awakenings inside or whatever it is to just be like, hey, if Rich could do it, I could do it. If this person could do it, I could do it. It's just a matter of earning it. And so you've definitely been putting in, you know, you're, you're, you've been putting in the work, like you've been earning it and uh, yeah. it's just a matter of time, bro. So yeah, man, yeah, I don't know if you have